Okay, now in this, let's start to find instantaneous speed. See, we have a relation between distance and time. Fine. Suppose I want to, uh, let's start slowly. Now, suppose let's find out what was the distance traveled by this person in the first second of his journey. Now, in the first second of the journey, to calculate that, that, that's going to be easy for you. Because you calculate what was the distance at t is equal to 0. You calculate, you find out what was the distance when t is equal to 1 second. Now, that difference is actually the distance that has been traveled from 0 to 1 second. Similarly, you can find the distance traveled from t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second. Now, let's find out the distance s travel when t goes from 2 to 3 seconds fine so the distance traveled at 2 is equal to 2 second is s at 2 second is 10 meters and s at 3 second is equal to 15 meters so the distance traveled from t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second is 5 meters that's easy to calculate. Now, if I want to know the sp uh, speed, speed between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second, it's, it's a large width of time of 1 second. So, obviously, you are going to calculate average speed. So, if I ask you what is the average speed between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second, what you will do is, you will find the distance traveled because speed is equal to distance upon time. So you will actually find the distance traveled between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second and then you will divide it with the time taken. So the distance traveled between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second is 15 minus 10, 5 meters. And the time that we are talking of between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second is 1 second. So speed will come out to be 5 meter per second. That's easy. That's how you calculate average speed. But now let's ask what is the speed at t is equal to 2 second now i want to know not between 2 is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 3 second but if i we are interested in calculating the instantaneous speed what is the speed at t is equal to 2 second now this one would be a little bit tricky for you now how you are going to calculate instantaneous speed now instantaneous speed can be calculated if you reduce the range of the time, suppose you calculate the speed between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 2.001 second. If you are going to calculate that, that could be considered as instantaneous because actually the moment you are looking at it, when it is t is equal to 2 second, the next moment you will not realize that actually the time has moved on from t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 2.001 second and your value is going to become better and better as you move from as you make this range narrower and narrower so for example if you take the second higher range of time as t.00000001 second then this two are actually going to be more instantaneous than these two but for the sake of calculation, let's calculate instantaneous speed, how you are going to do it. Now, do it, do it on your own. Now, try and calculate that instantaneous speed at t is equal to 2 second. So, what you do is, you take the range between t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 2.001 second. Calculate the distance traveled during that range of time and divide the distance traveled by the time taken. That's how you calculate speed. Please do it. Don't just sit back and watch. That's not going to take you anywhere. If you don't move your hand, you're not moving actually your brain and you're actually being the same mental level at which you are. So this watching of the video is not actually going to help you if you're not ready to straighten up your bones and actually do some paperwork. Now, if, if you calculate the speed, the distance traveled at t is equal to 2 second because s is equal to 5t. That's what we have taken. 
so at t is equal to 2 second speed is uh, sorry distance is 10 meters now at t is equal to 2.001 second distance is equal to 10.005 meters so the distance that we have traveled between these between these two times is distance that we have traveled is 0 0.005 meter fine so speed will be equal to 0 0.005 meter time taken is 0 0.001 second because we are talking between 2 to 2 0.001 second so the increment the time range is actually 0 0.001 second this speed is 5 meter per second speed is actually the same as the average speed that you calculated earlier that we calculated earlier this is how you do it now since the relation is pretty simple the calculation was also pretty much the same but if we move on and consider a little bit of more complicated relation between speed and time then the calculation will also turn out to be pretty much the same for example let's suppose think of speed is equal to t squared plus 5t speed is equal to t squared plus 5t this is any relation between speed and time as it can be now in this case again if you have to calculate the instantaneous speed at at t is equal to 1 second suppose you are calculating the instantaneous speed at t is equal to 1 second. Now how are you going to calculate instantaneous speed at t is equal to 1 second? The idea is find the distance at t is equal to 1 second. Now you have to put t is equal to 1. Now the distance at t is equal to 1 will come out to be 6 meters. Now distance at t is equal to 1.001 second will come out to be 1.001 cos squared plus 5 times 1.001 fine if you do the calculation it will come out to be 6.007001 distance traveled between t is equal to 1 second to t is equal to 1.001 second is 0 0.007001 meters so the speed here bit speed here would be 0 0.007001 upon 00, 0 0.001 because distance upon time this will turn out to be 7.001 you have to remember this figure we have we will revisit this once we study a little bit more speed now i am saying that this could be said to be instantaneous speed because the time range is too short it is between 1.1 second to 1.001 second so the range of the time is just 0.001 second now you can do the calculation for 0001 second taking this to be the time range and then your answer will be more accurate but it will never be exact now for the exact calculation we'll study something and uh, this is we did this with uh, a little bit of logic and reasoning but you will not attempt to do such kind of calculation when the relation between distance and time becomes much more complicated and draconian so this is good for an easy kind of relations but in case of complications, if, you, if, if I'm asking you for 9 seconds, then this everything is going to be much more complicated and calculation is going to rise exponentially. So we hold it here and we're going to learn a theory and then we'll come back again. So we're going to start maths, holding physics at this stage. Now I'm going to teach you something. And we will not think about as to why we are studying that, what is the purpose of it. The focus should be in understanding the concept. 